Oke, okay. baik ini uh, siarannya kita via online, tapi sepertinya ada yang sudah uh, di Universitas Amikom Yogyakarta. Mungkin yang pertama kita langsung saja, yaitu pembukaan oleh penampung jawab tim Tax Force, Wakil Rektor 4, Bapak Dr. Arief Setianto. Halo, selamat siang Bapak Arief. Selamat siang. Iya, selamat siang Pak Arief. <laughs> Ini jadi satu selamat dengan siang, Profesor Suyanto. Selamat siang, Mbak Rona dan uh, teman-teman semua. Mohon maaf ini persiapan di lokasi agak kurang sempurna. Uh, ya, yeah. baik. Uh, terima kasih sekali. Uh, Ya Pak Arif mungkin bisa maju biar suaranya lebih jelas lagi Pak Arif. Oke baik. Dan, uh, waktu dipersilahkan untuk Pak Arif Setianto. Oke, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih Bapak Ibu sekalian. Uh, thank you Mr. Chong and also all the participant here. Uh, terima kasih Bapak Ibu uh, pembina yayasan uh, ketua Wakil Ketua dan Bendahara Yayasan uh, yang sudah hadir di sini juga teman-teman um, uh, dosen dan uh, seluruh sivitas akademika Universitas Amikom Yogyakarta. Uh, hari ini berbahagia sekali kita uh, pada akhirnya mendapatkan salah satu uh, kerja capaian kita untuk tercatat di uh, Kiesta. Um, Awalnya Pak uh, proses ini dimulai sebelum pandemi, tetapi uh, unfortunately it was um, accidentally uh, something not something happened which is uh, corona and then uh, forced us to work from home. Akhirnya kita selesai, kita bisa menyelesaikan seluruh dokumen. Uh, terima kasih atas kerja yang luar biasa dari tim. Uh, KS yang dikomandani oleh Pak Ferry dan teman-teman yang telah berusaha sangat keras untuk mengumpulkan seluruh dokumen yang dibutuhkan oleh KS uh, dalam waktu yang uh, cukup singkat sekitar tiga bulan kita menyelesaikan seluruh proses ini uh, terima kasih dukungan seluruh sivitas akademika yang uh, telah membantu memberikan seluruh data yang dibutuhkan. Jadi uh, perlu saya sampaikan bahwa KS ini seperti akreditasi, uh, akreditasi internasional yang uh, dilakukan sebetulnya hampir sama dengan akreditasi perguruan tinggi pada umumnya membutuhkan beberapa dokumen dari dokumen uh, artifak proses pembelajaran, uh, proses um, administrasi dan proses-proses uh, yang lain sampai dengan proses untuk uh, membuktikan SBA International Business Management from University of Hertfordshire UK under a transnational education program fully sponsored by a Malaysian scholarship program and uh, we are to joining QS Intelligence Unit experience in student recruitment for different private universities in Malaysia. His work has led him to travel extensively with Asia and he speaks English, Mandarin, Cantonese, Malay, and Indonesian. And in QSIU, he will be in charge to engage with universities across Southeast Asia. And in his spare time, he's an active scuba driver. Okay, so that's a, a little biography about Mr. Iwei Chang, and then uh, I will call Mr. Iwei. Hello, Mr. Iwei, or I will call you Mr. Chong. Hi, yeah. Hi hello, can you hear me? Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hi, hi, good afternoon. Uh, thank you uh, to Park Rector. Uh, for having me, of course, the all the colleagues from uh, Universitas Amikom Jogja. Uh, congratulations. Uh, so today, yeah, thank, thank you, thank you. So today, uh, I first I will uh, first talk about QS, uh, very briefly. 
And QS is actually a company, an international company that is based in London, but we have offices in multiple countries such as London, Paris, uh, Kuala Lumpur, India, and Melbourne. And uh, we have staff all over the world with about 600 uh, employees uh, in different countries. So I'm based in Malaysia. I cover the Southeast Asian region. At QS, um, our mission is to enable motivated people and in anywhere in the world to fulfill their potential through educational achievement, international mobility, and career development. So this is our mission uh, of QS and the company. And uh, we are actually uh, very famous for the QS World University Rankings. So uh, in Indonesia, there are many universities that are ranked in the QS World Universe Rankings and Asia Rankings as well. So we are also the producer of QS Stars Ratings. So um, in this uh, rating exercise, let me just share with you uh, that um, Amikom uh, Georgia uh, has actually gone through the exercise uh, and, and to be rated in uh, eight, the best eight category. Uh, out of 12 categories selected. So, um, in this exercise, let me just share the screen. Just a second. So, this is the results of the university. I'm pleased to announce um, that Unistas Amikom Jogja has obtained overall three stars in the QS stars rating exercise. Um, so, this is the overall rating. So overall rating is the addition of all the subcategory rating. And in the category rating, the, the results are uh, Amicom Jogja has obtained three stars in teaching category, five stars in employability category, four stars in academic development, four stars in facilities, three stars in innovation, three stars in arts and culture category and three stars in the selected program uh, which is informatics that is to be evaluated uh, by the program strength category so in overall after adding all the scores from all the category that are rated uh, the, the university section obtained three star overall uh, in the recent rating exercise so these results will last for and valid for three years from this year. So um, of course, we also note that there are improvement uh, to be made because uh, there are many uh, areas that the university can actually identify through this exercise to improve. So like what I have shared just now, uh, the university is doing very well in employability in Kita. But there are still uh, certain areas within the employability indicator that can be improved. For example, employer reputation, how the employer view uh, the university. So this is where the university has to produce quality graduates uh, to the industry in order to be recognized as a, a top university in Indonesia or in the region. So another example is internationalization. So the university so far um, did not do very well in the internationalization category. So, but we all believe that internationalization happens, can be happened at home, meaning to say that you can have international experience for the students on your campus without sending them to, without sending them to overseas. You can receive international faculty, international exchange students, international uh, students, uh, full-time students, and so on. So there are more, more initiatives that actually can be done at the university side to enhance the student experience in terms of internationalization. So these are the areas that uh, universities can also look into uh, to improve further in terms of student experience or in terms of research, uh, because you can actually collaborate with uh, overseas universities in uh, publishing papers or journals uh, with any international universities. That is also is a part of internationalization. So the rating exercise actually produce uh, 
in, according to an international standards that we set, and uh, then universities will actually be able to re renew the exercise or renew uh, the, the, the audit uh, maybe in the years to come to see how much they have improved throughout the year. And this is where uh, the something that we call uh, the effectiveness of the rating exercise is to know what are your strengths at the same time to know what can you do better to, to serve the students and uh, the community and the academic community, the employee community and the country better uh, by identifying the targeted uh, areas of improvement that can be uh, still uh, increased uh, to, for the years to come. So uh, with that, I'm pleased to announce that the results uh, that are rated by QS Intelligence Unit uh, for Union Stars Amitabh Jogja uh, is as such a three star overall at the respective category and from three to five stars depending on different category. Congratulations. Thank you. So I will hand over back to the MC. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you so much for Mr. Yi Wei Chong for the speech. And then next is a closing statement from our rector. Maybe Bisa Bahasa Indonesia atau Bahasa Inggris is up to you. So the time is yours for Professor Dr. M. C. M. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Yi Wei Chong. I think it's very important for Universitas Amazon Yogyakarta. Uh, three star is first step of our vision uh, to be world class uh, high education institution in the field of uh, creative economy uh, with insight of entrepreneurship. The first step very important for us. I think. Uh, thank you for Mr. Iwe Chong and thank you for TS. Dan terima kasih kepada tim Universitas Amikong yang sangat luar biasa bekerja, terutama di bawah Pak Ari, Pak Ferry, dan tim, dan semua yang telah membantu sehingga Amikom menjadi sesuatu langkah pertama yang kita mulai dengan yang saya sampaikan visi kita menjadi perguruan tinggi unggulan dunia dalam bidang ekonomi kreatif dan berbasis entrepreneurship yang sudah saya sampaikan kepada Mr. Ewe Chong. Ini adalah first step, baru langkah pertama. Kita masih punya langkah, ya. langkah-langkah berikutnya to achieve our vision. Dan mudah-mudahan langkah ini sesuatu yang luar biasa. Meskipun ini baru langkah the first step, but in Yogyakarta itu only three private uh, Uh, university uh, yang mendapatkan three star, ya kan? Jadi Amikom tidak luar biasa. In Indonesia, only one uh, four star private university, only one. I think uh, for Amikom is uh, very important because the first step. <laughs> uh, the future, I think uh, we try to for kawan-kawan saya mengucapkan terima kasih sekali sangat sangat luar biasa ya kan uh, karena saya tidak membayangkan uh, karena bisa dapat three star <laughs> bayangan saya ya one star atau two star <laughs> itu sudah bagi kamu sudah cukup ternyata dengan three star itu kita uh, bahkan kita masih bisa di atas beberapa perguruan tinggi negeri ya kan kita masih di atas. Tapi sebagian besar kita sama dengan beberapa perguruan tinggi, misalkan seperti UNS, ya kan? itu sama, Tristar, bintangnya juga tiga. Saya rasa ini membanggakan bagi kita semua. Dan sekali lagi saya mengucapkan terima kasih. Ya, thank you, Mr. Richard. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe. Okay, Mr. Ewey, thank you so much. Maybe you want to, uh, ada yang disampaikan untuk Professor Sianto for the closing? Or is it enough? 
I think that's that's all. Yeah. yeah. I hope to see you in person soon when uh, the travel is open, and I hope to be in Jogja very soon. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Maybe we will uh, uh, visit. We will visit Amigom in next year, maybe. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, we all hope that the travel is okay and everything is back to uh, normal and that we can actually travel and have a meeting basically. Okay, Ami. So, we will be waiting for you to coming to Amicom. And for all the participants, thank you so much for joining us. Dan ini adalah sesi terakhir. Mungkin kita bisa berfoto bersama Bapak Ibu. Walaupun kita secara virtual, kita fotonya secara uh, virtual ya, Bapak Ibu. Mungkin videonya bisa dihidupkan semuanya. You can give a reaction for thumbs up or applause. Sebagai uh, uh, apa ya, ungkapan kebahagiaan, kita sudah mendapatkan tiga bintang dari QS Star, di mana itu adalah hal yang sangat baik di Indonesia, sudah diakui bahkan di luar negeri. Baik Bapak Ibu, kita akan foto bersama. Pak Sudarmawan, mau dihidupkan videonya Pak? Kita foto bersama Pak. <laughs> Baik. Iya. <laughs> Baik Bapak Ibu, saya hitung sampai tiga ya. Satu, dua, tiga, and then give your thumbs up. Give your thumbs up. Oke. Okay. Baik. Satu, dua, tiga. Oke, okay, once again, uh, Ami Confine, holding world, like this. Oke. Okay. One, two, three. Oke, okay. Ami Com Creative Economy Park. Thank you so much for Mr. Yue Chong for joining us and give this happy uh, news for us. Dan terima kasih juga mungkin Bapak Ibu media ada yang mau bertanya. Mumpung Mr. Iwei masih di sini dan juga Profesor Sianto masih joining with us. Mungkin bisa raise hand jika ada pertanyaan terkait uh, QS Star. Sepertinya tidak ya. Nanti untuk press release-nya kita akan kirimkan langsung ke email Bapak Ibu sekalian untuk acara siang hari ini. Baik, Bapak Ibu, terima kasih sekali lagi, Mr. Iway. Semoga kita bisa segera bertemu di Universitas Amikom Yogyakarta. Dan we hope this pandemic is over. So, hopefully all of you in here, Mr. Sianto, sudah menyempatkan waktunya. Pak uh, Arif Setianto, Pak Direktur 4, sudah uh, hadir dan memberikan speech. Dan juga tim Tax Force dari Universitas Amerika Yogyakarta, selamat, terima kasih juga atas kerjasamanya yang luar biasa, yang menghasilkan hasil yang sangat mengagumkan. Dan juga seluruh pimpinan, direktur, wakil rektor, dekan, dan juga jajarannya yang sudah hadir. Mungkin yang terakhir kita berikan reaction, tepangan, ataupun thumbs up for all of us. So this is the end of this meeting dan saya mewakili panitia mohon maaf bila ada kesalahan teknis maupun kata-kata. So this uh, meeting it will end soon. Thank you so much and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Baik Bapak Ibu.